Well, here we are at 5.52 in the morning on the Antelope Valley. And this morning, we're coming out of the interlock tower, the uh, single tower. Having spoken to them to give us a clearance to move a couple freight cars for local deliveries. Take a walk around here and take a look at what we have. So I got a center beam car and a box car. So I got two deliveries to make, two different spots. And I got clearance to go up using the freight. Making sure our generator's on. Actually, let's relieve the air brakes. Get them pumped up to 90 pounds of pressure. And we'll head off. Now, before we do, I got clearance. And I want to show you what is happening here. Give you a good idea where we are on the Antelope Valley map. This is the passenger station here. This is across the river. And I'm going to make it all the way up here to drop some freight off into this little siding. However, before I get there, I want to drop some freight. I want to drop the center beam car right off here. So, um, just for the sake of uh, showing you how this is done, this is one of the things I'm loving about Train Sim World 4 and these new features we have. It's not just that I can, in free roam, put these cars down. I can also change the single. So, uh, as simple as clicking on that, removing the current path, and then setting a new path to get us right about here. And, okay, so there we have it. We got a clearance up to the next block, which is just across across these tracks. So right, we're going to make our way over there. And as you can see, we got a passenger train coming. And that's why we got the red signal, so we have to stop and wait for that one to come through. But one time I did this, I had trains coming over this bridge, and I had to stop and wait for them. So, he just passed through, and I'm free to go. So one of the things I want to demonstrate here is how you can use free roam alongside of an existing service or timetable. And, you know, in this case, I just uh, pick the time of day and set myself out on foot. And by doing that, the whole timetable is running. Uh, this is different than setting out free roam to begin with. Um, I'm setting myself out on foot and the whole timetable uh, of all the trains that are normally running are running and uh, we're going to have to run alongside with them or watch our signals as we go. So, you know, once I set myself out on foot, uh, then after that, then I pop into uh, using the tab key uh, walking and and put these trains this engine and then one by one put the cars in place
And I gotta tell you, I'm so excited about this. This has changed. This has changed big time gameplay. Or I can go in on the fly and uh, change my path and change singles. And yeah, it has an impact. It could have impact to a timetable. You could you could stop a, a train that's coming down. But uh, in this case. I sat and I waited for the train to come through and, open, and it opened it up for me and we're all good. So my spot is right here. It's right behind this fence, uh, this gate. And unfortunately in the game there's no way to animate the, the fence opening. However, you can back up through the fence <laughs> and, you know, ignore it. and. Some of you may want to do it. There is enough room for you to to uh, place the car in front of the fence, but I like to put it behind the fence. One of the things I do with the three key is I can jump on the back here and then see exactly when I need to change the points. Whoop, not far enough. A little bit more. And unfortunately, this is not a manual. So what I'm going to have to do, and what we can do, okay, set a new path to back it right up into here. So you guys know how much I love solving the puzzle by dropping off local local cars uh, into local in, uh, cars into local industries, spotting them. And of course, the points have changed. And yes, to me, this is a game changer. Could never do this before. Now in Train Sim World 4, it can be done. Uh, and it opens up a whole new realm of railroading in this game on this route. Now at this point, you know, this guy would get off and open the gate. Uh, of course that's not animated, so we just have to use our imagination and we're going to kind of plow through the gate here. That's embarrassing. Now this is easy enough just to come down here, unhook, and make a way but to me this is exciting here look we have another train coming through isn't this awesome so this is the benefit of not just going straight into free room but going into a timetable I can do my job, they can do their job, and I don't know, it's fun. To me, this is a whole new avenue of fun. Now, he's going to be in this block for a little bit. 
to let him get up the road. And this is one of the reasons too because by getting my engine off of that and not just backing up before the gate, I'm able to get my engine off the main and allow the passengers to continue the run because I'm out of the way. So looking at him, he's got to go a ways. Well, I think a little bit further and I could set my path. Let's give it a try. Remove. He's running. I want to come all the way up here and drop off that box in this spur here. Now looks like I'm still red here, am I? I think that's a red signal. Sometimes they're... I, no, that don't look red. What's gonna have, What's gonna happen here? Yep, it's got me free to go. So, whoops. Here we go. And this is uh, Los Angeles behind me. Unfortunately, from where I took off, uh, there's a good stretch of track. This track goes back a ways, but there's no access to it. There's an invisible wall right behind where I originally started from. And it's unfortunate because I could have made a longer train. And But nevertheless, this is fun, just being able to just be able to take two cars out and and drop them off the local deliveries uh, you know to me is, is fabulous I got the green light 
is a clear path for me. Nice rail fanning spot. There's another train coming down the other rail. We crossed over from the left rail to the right. Freed them up to come on down. Right in the needle. You know, I love the idea of starting out in free roam. That's all the all I ever dreamed of. But now that I discovered that we can go out on foot on a timetable and have all the activity and services running back and forth throughout the day while we interweave ourselves <laughs> doing our separate own thing setting our own path and allowing the, the, you know the other the other uh, services to come through uh, I saw that red single and I thought uh oh better stop but no I got green Here's another area here where we have track coming from the other side of this canal. Uh, and that track is unusable and you came in... I, mean, I think right underneath the overhead, the overpass for the cars, for the traffic, there's an invisible wall and you can't go. But you may be able to actually put some... put a few cars on this rail here as far as... if that's where you wanted to start a free roam. But it'd be quite a walk. Uh, but uh, unfortunately there's a wall and you can't use that rail. Let's see if we cross over here. No, we're going straight. Oh yeah, I think this rail on the right side actually merges back into us. It's actually a little bit more cloudy than it's than I set it out to be. Going to the God Mod here. They got a few of the clouds, make it a little bit brighter. So it's a nice little fun run. Taking some freight up and delivering. I think the speed limit here is 60 for passengers and 40 for freight. And I'm thinking uh, I'm probably doing about 20. Uh, I don't even think I'm doing 20 doing about 10 so I'll give it a little a little bit more on the throttle over here on the left we got a, a passenger yard it looks like servicing passenger cars and engines I think all of that's accessible.
That looks like a wash. I hadn't tried that. Maybe I would take a passenger train through there and wash it. Yeah, I think this adds a whole new dimension to the Los Angeles, uh, you know, this Los Angeles area and this uh, Antelope Valley route. Uh, and any of the routes where you can go ahead and get on foot and plant your own cars, engines and cars, and and uh, and, and play along with the, the regular day's timetable. Fabulous. More like model railroading. I love this beat up fence over here. We've crossed over to the other side of that canal. Running up this way. Doing about Pretty ride up through this way, and you know I like to take a ride uh, like this. At, at some point, I will. I'll, 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 I'll redo this and go all the way across the mountain on it, and down into Palmdale and Lancaster. That'd be fun. I don't know what uh, what my purpose would be. Maybe I throw some more cars on. In fact. Uh, I think if I get out, I can put more cars on this reel here, and then, you know, uh, after I drop the box off, uh, I won't do it during this video, but what I'll do is I'll put more cars on here, and uh, pick them up, and take them all the way out across the mountain, and that's going to be, that'll be a long trip, but it'll be fun. And this is where I want to drop the box off. There's actually an invisible wall there too. I don't know if I can press through it. Hopefully it doesn't crash the crash the game. Now, I was thinking, you know, uh, part of the difficulty is 
in order to protect myself from crashing the game, I would do a save. I could do a save right now, but then I can't replay what I just started unless I built my own scenario. And this is the problem. If I build my own scenario, then I have to build all the AI trains uh, similar and, you know, that's doable. I could do that. But I'd have to build all the AI trains to come down at the proper time with the timetable. Um, you know, maybe one day I'll sit down and do that. But to be honest with you, just jumping in like I did this morning and letting the timetable run its course. And as you see, what do we have? Two or three, uh, three different passengers kind of go by us one way or the other. I'm talking and I'm forgetting I need to stop here. So we do need to remove that path. Also, once again, this switch is not manual here. So I have to set a new path. And easy enough to do. Set a path right down into here. And we'll take it in, on back. And we'll put somebody on the back car. Want to go for a ride? Hang on, bud. Yeah, we're moving. And notice too, I got myself a North Fork Southern car uh, using the free roam. And formation editor. Wow. Uh, you think I'm excited about this, and I am. But uh, this took a little thought, actually. A little playing around to get, you know, the loco and a couple cars I wanted. More than you would think you would have to think uh, to do. But uh, it took some trial and error. Formation editor will make it so much better because you do it all in the editor and and then you got your formation and then you plop it down. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Now, uh, like I said, I'm gonna drop this car off and pretty much call it for this video of really just showing my excitement and what can be done what can be done with free roam and the awesome ability now to set our path and change the signals and do it side by side in the service um, but uh, for the next run for me to go over the mountain these parallel tracks will end up converging into a single track and that could be problematic for any cars that want to come in the other direction they'll have to wait as they come as they go over but that's fun too I mean all that is, is wonderful You see there's a whole bunch of empty um, container cars uh, for you know for st the stack cars for double stacking or whatever uh, you know I didn't put them there they're all part of the, the, the normal timetable 
By the way, if any of you developers are watching this, the points are missing here. Uh, it works, and but there's only one point, and the other one just disappeared into oblivion. So actually, it may be there, just for just for kicks. Let's push it back and see if it may, maybe it just merged into the rail. Yeah, yeah. See, it is there. It just it merges into the rail. Kind of really does a good job hiding itself. Too good of a job. All right, let's see if we get bumped. Actually, for this, let's jump off the train. Sometimes the train can do what the uh, with what your free cam can't do. Because somewhere in here there's a there's a wall. Um, I think I think let's see what happens. I went so far I can't even see my own train. I like this wall. It's got uh, some kind of design on it. Buffalo or something. I don't know what those are. Huh? How am I supposed to unhook? I can't get past that. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I think there's a key command for unhooking, isn't there? Hmm. Oh. Hey. That's a cheap. Uh, I don't think I can get there to unhook. Well, I don't know what the key command is, so I'm going to have to pull a little forward. How far forward do I need to go? So right about there. Listen, you developers. If you're going to lay down rail, don't overlap it with invisible wall. Now that you've given us the ability to do these things, don't crush our dreams like this. All right, enough said about that. I think you get the message. I hope you get the message. Maybe you're not crushing our dreams, but you're sure putting a putting a sour note on our fun. That should do it. There you have it. Free roam, alongside timetable. And, uh, you know, I'm going to end it here, but like I said, 
I think the next fun thing I do is I'll uh, I'll go ahead and add a whole bunch of cars on here center beams or hopper cars or something and uh, take it up the mountain so hopefully you enjoyed maybe learned something some gave you some ideas so some of your own fun things you can do get to it and uh, we'll catch you next time